Ron here. Uh, so what we've got in front of uh, front of us today is uh, what I call Lab Two uh, in my course. Uh, it's basically just uh, teaching somebody uh, how to configure an interface for the first time. So Lab One covered uh, just basic command line uh, stuff as far as getting into the router. Hey, this is user mode. Uh, uh, your user exec mode this is privilege exec mode hey let's transition to global configuration mode here's how you get into uh, your console port your VTY or your telnet or SSH ports uh, stuff like that so it's just baseline this is the command line interface but in this lab we're actually gonna uh, build an actual network we're, we're gonna configure an interface uh, and we're gonna you know uh, try to simulate some traffic across it so what so what we're gonna do right off the bat is just uh, configure those serial interfaces now I've already I've already configured router A and router C <clears throat> I've also configured the Ethernet uh, ports hanging off of them uh, and plugged in uh, two computers what I have not configured is router B which sits in the middle and ties everything together uh, today we won't be configuring the fast Ethernet on router B because I don't have another computer right this second uh, to really simulate anything so what we'll be concerned with is the serial 00 and the serial 01 on router B uh, and then trying to test some of that connectivity from uh, from uh, router C or router A uh, computers so let's jump into it. Okay, I've already connected up uh, my COM port uh, to the console interface, uh, and this is what we get because the router has been wiped, it has no configuration on it. Uh, it's asking if we want to go into initial configuration dialog. I'm going to say no because we need to know the command line interface. We don't need to know how to use a wizard. So when this thing finally gets around to bringing up the prompt alright so it's going through each of the different interfaces uh, that we have uh, it's checking out the iOS firmware or just the iOS image okay now we're to the router prompt okay notice uh, router is the default because this thing has been wiped we have the greater than sign so we're in user exec mode We'll type enable. There's no enable password because again, this thing is defaulted. We're now at the uh, the pound sign, so we'll do a show IP interface brief. Again, you can use shortened commands for for some of these, uh, which I'll be doing throughout the video because I typically use them. So again, we're concerned with serial zero zero and serial zero one. And notice they are down, down, administratively down. So they have no configuration on them, and they are shut. All right, so I'm hitting the escape key. Config T, which is short for configure terminal. All right, we're going to go to interface, serial 0, 0. All right, let's slide this down slightly. All right, so serial 00 is a 192.168.0.1, and it's a slash 30. Slash 30 gives a block size of 4, uh, and it gives us two usable IPs. So we'll do a uh, IP address 192.168.0.1.255.255.255.252, and hit enter. All right, let's just verify. Yep, it's 1. So my memory is pretty bad okay so now uh, it's not necessary but it's op you know it's optional if you want to add a description which I like to do I'm gonna hit the tab key and it's gonna fill in the rest so description this is our connection to router a it's an easy way when you're looking through uh, looking through the config file or you're doing this remotely you know it's easy to see okay yeah that's that's what that interface is plugged into that's what it's connected to all right we're gonna do a no shut okay so I should get a pop-up there we go it says 
it's been changed to up. Now I don't expect it to stay this way because I know on a serial interface, uh, unlike an Ethernet interface, I have to provide clocking or, or somebody along that link, uh, that point to point link, needs to provide clocking. Uh, if this were a production environment, that would typically be the telco. Now notice again the command went down. Uh, in this case we don't have uh, a telco I just have my two routers uh, hooked back to back uh, on the cable that's that's connected to it one of the sides is marked DTE and one's marked DCE so the DCE side is what's going to provide clocking okay uh, and I happen to know that the DCE sides are connected to my router B alright but I can verify that alright uh, you can do a do uh, from global config and it will well in this case I'm in interface but uh, if you do a do it allows you to uh, do some of your privilege exact uh, commands so we'll do do show controllers and I'm only concerned right now with serial zero zero alright so what we're looking for is right here so interface serial zero is a DCE so that means I have to provide clocking and currently there's no clocking set alright so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the escape key really you can hit any key other than spacebar and enter uh, and it's gonna drop down to there so I'm gonna do a clock rate and I'm I just did a, a question mark and the question mark brings up all of the different uh, clock rates that you could enter now not all of these clock rates are going to be valid for this interface uh, I happen to know that uh, I can usually run this at one meg or two meg uh, but some of the higher rates it's it's not going to accept this is a WIC 1T uh, so we'll set it up as one meg so the clock rate is set in bits per second so we need uh, to enter it as such in bits per second. So one, two, three makes it kilobits. One, two, three makes it megabits. So we are at one megabit. All right. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it. All right. So clock rate one megabit is set. So now if we do a, uh, I'm going to hit the up arrow, up arrow again. Now we see it's a DCE and the clock rate is one megabit and notice serial zero zero changed to up okay I'm gonna hit oh I hit spacebar so it just it kept going I'll hit escape I'll do do show IP interface brief so we'll go back and now we see zero serial zero zero now has the IP address that I set and is uh, manually set and it's up up so physically it sees electrical signals and on the data link uh, or layer 2 our encapsulation is correct which I'll talk about in a sec there's clocking so data link wise we are happy you know sometimes you can get an up down which means electrically physically you're there but something else is wrong that's keeping the data link side from coming up so typically if you have an up up you're usually good to go uh, and we can test this so I'm gonna do to an end to get back here I'll do and that's annoying I hate I hate when things pop up uh, when I'm typing so let's go ahead and fix that now or else you might uh, see me freak out or at least listen to me freak out so we're gonna go line con zero because this is a console port logging uh, I could put an S Y in question mark so what you see is synchronous I'll hit tab there so now the next time there's a, a pop-up it'll rebuild my you know router prompt just below it and everything that I had previously typed so there's there's no guessing okay how far through this command did I get before it, it gave me this pop-up just something that annoys me so well there you see so it did a pop-up and it dropped a, another line just below it so do a ping uh, and if we look, we are talking about 01 
to 0, 2 because the block size of 4. So 0 is the network, 1 is the first valid IP, 2 is the second valid IP, and then 3 is the broadcast address. So let's come back up here. So ping 192.168.0.2. And we get exclamation part points. So it's a good connection. It's working. So let's go ahead and configure serial 01. All right. So config or configure terminal. All right. Interface serial 0 slash 1. We're going to have an IP address of 5 because we're talking about the 4 subnet. So 4 is the subnet, 5 is the first valid, 6 is the second, uh, and th uh, 7 is the broadcast. So IP address 192.168.0.5, 255, 255, 255, 252 for a slash 30. Okay, we're going to give it a description of uh, connection to router Charlie. All right. Now we're going to do a, well, let's go ahead and set the clock rate since we know, well, we can do a do show uh, controllers, serial 0 slash 1. I already know the DCE cable is plugged into this one. DCE, no clock. All right. So we'll do a clock rate 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, because we're talking 1 megabit. And then we'll do a no shut and show IP interface brief again 001 has our IP and it's up up if we do a show interface serial 01 what's important here is that uh, we didn't set any encapsulation but by default uh, HDLC is set on a Cisco router. So this is the, uh, and I don't even remember, like high speed data link control or something like that. Uh, this is the default for Cisco, and it is Cisco proprietary. There are other HDLCs out there, but uh, they use their own method of signifying, okay, on the data link I'm using HDLC, but what protocol am I using on the network portion? Am I using IP? Am I using, uh, you know, all the various uh, network protocols that you could use? Well, each vendor seems to do that a little bit differently, so when it comes to HDLC, they're proprietary. Uh, we could set our encapsulation to PPP, uh, and I'd have to look up what, what that acronym is for. Uh, but needless to say, PPP is accepted by it's a multi-vendor kind of protocol, uh, and so I could use this serial link uh, if it was PPP to hook to somebody else's equipment. All right, but in this case, I'm just going to leave it at the default because uh, I'm going Cisco Cisco. Uh, what we can see here also is you know packets input, packets output, you know any errors and this and that. But uh, the important thing that I'm looking for here is one, it's up, up, and it's set for HDLC, all right? Because I know the other side is set for HDLC. If we do a show IP interface serial zero zero, now instead of just getting mostly layer two stuff, uh, we get a combination layer two, uh, but really layer three stuff. We got our IP address, you know. Uh, stuff let's see here well for me for this lab not a lot that's important here other than up up which we got from looking at show interface serial zero one so I'll go ahead and test it we'll go ahead and ping 192.168 dot oops dot zero dot six and it goes through alright so now we are connected this is a good connection and this is a good connection so router C is talking to router B which is talking to router A alright if we do a show IP route we have not configured any routing protocols so the only thing that we should see here are our connected routes we are connected to the zero subnet 
and we are connected to the 4 subnet via 00 and 01.